Hey guys, um, I hope you're all doing great today. So what I'm going to do for you is um, the last two videos that I did, um, which were my hauls, I wore this um, blue gold look for you guys and I got a lot of comments saying that you guys really wanted to see it. So I decided to do this look for you. So if you want to stay tuned and check out this look, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is um, put a primer down. So I'm going to be using my already depotted Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm going to apply that to the entire lid, and I'll be right back. Okay, great. So now that we have the Urban Decay's Primer Potion down, you're going to use a flat brush, like your two, um, 229 brush, and we're going to go in with, I finally depotted my, uh, my MAC shadows, but... Please don't pay attention to this poor one right here and this one because it's cracked. Um, we're going to use this color right here, which is Woodwinked. So that color. And you're going to grab your flat brush. I haven't washed my brushes, so I'm just using like an old brush that I have. But just a, a flat shader brush will do. And you're going to apply that to the lower lid. And don't go up any further. So now that we have the wood winked on, we're going to grab um, our 217 brush, a blending brush, mm -hmm. and we're going to go in, that's Cooper by the way, if you hear any loud noises, <laughs> go lay down Cooper. Um, you're going to go in with the color Espresso, which is this color right here, and we're going to put that all in the, um, the crease. So just start right here and work your way in. Light strokes. And you can bring that all the way in too because this is going to just basically define our um, our lid by adding more color into the crease. You're giving more of a depth perspection or per perception. <laughs> that was a blonde moment, huh? Okay, so now that we have that um, defined in our crease, we're going to still grab our 217 brush. And it doesn't need to be clean, it can be the same one because this color is going to kind of make this color a little bit darker. And we're going to go in with the color contrast. And this isn't a different quad that I have, this is the one that I made up. But it's going to go in this color right here, it's that dark sparkly blue. Grab your 217 brush on the tip of the brush, and we're going to create our outer V just by starting out in the corner like this and just kind of make a C and then don't bring it in any further than that. So you're not going to notice a dramatic blue but it's going to be just a hint of it and because it's blended with the brown it's going to make it a little bit darker so that's really pretty as well. Just creating our outer V. <laughs> And this, I think, is a really neutral color to be worn with any eye. I know that some colors don't really um, counteract really pretty with uh, certain colors, but because there's blue in it, it counteracts really good with brown, and because there's brown in it, it counteracts with blue and green. So this is a all-around great color for pretty much all of you guys. Okay, so now that we have that blended out, um, we're going to go and grab um, a um, flat brush like this, the oval brush that's used for a highlighter. Um, Mac has it, I keep forgetting to look at what it is, but you guys can post it down and help me, that'd be really great. Um, and we're going to go in with the color Brulee, which is this color right here, it's a satin color. And we're going to put Brulee all over the... Um, top of the eyebrow just to create a really pretty um, highlight color. You can use a different color if you like. You can go a little bit more sparkly but I just wanted to tone it down and not have it so bright. And then just blend these two colors um, so that it's not such a harsh edge. Okay, I just want to add a little bit more contrast to my eyes. So I'm just going to 
kind of bring this in a little bit into the woodwinked just by zigzagging it and that'll blend those colors together. And I kind of want it to come out a little more as you guys can see this one kind of comes out a little more. So I'm just going to bring it out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, good. The next thing that we're going to do is you're going to grab your pencil brush. I'm using the crease brush duo from um, Essence of Beauty, the small one. And we're going to grab some more contrast and we're going to use that as our eyeliner. So just dip your brush into the contrast. Just pull just a little bit and just kind of go along the um, lower line of your of your lashes. And I take it just like about a three-fourths of the way in. Okay, and then kind of bring this up just a little bit. Make it so that it kind of drastic. It starts really low here and then I kind of wing it out to connect over here. Okay, and then we're also going to grab the contrast and we're going to do the lower lash line as well. And um, I took this all the way in, so you're going to do that too. And what I also like to do is just kind of make them go out a little bit more. So starting from the corner, just kind of draw the line upwards and then connect those two lines. So it's kind of like a little bit thicker towards the end of your, um, your eyes. Okay. Then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to line your waterline with a black um, pencil and, oh, let me focus, <laughs> okay, and I'm using Max um, Coal Liner Powder Liner in Feline, which is the one that I got the haul from. Oh, love this. And just line your waterline. And take that all the way into the tear duct. The black is really going to make the blue of the contrast stand out. And then it's also going to pretty much smoke out your eyes. Okay, great. So the last step that you're going to do is you're going to um, do your mascara, curl your lashes. I'm going to today test out my um, CoverGirl Lash Blast length. And I'll come right back and show you guys the final look. Okay, so um, really fast before I finish doing the other eye, I wanted to do a quick kind of review, so all in one, um, of the CoverGirl Lash Blast length that I told you guys I got just from my haul. I'm going to say this really fast because I got, have no time. Um, I actually really do like this. I don't know if I would compare it to my 2000 calorie max factor, but um, it works really good for the length. So let me just show you the difference. So this is, um, I'm hoping you can see this, this is my eyelid with no mascara, and this is is with. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see that. So, with the Lash Blast. Like that. Okay, uh, do my other eye and be back. Okay, so it's all together. And I really like this look. So, this is what it looks like. And um, I think this is a really great Christmas, also like New Year's kind of party because they're like darks but golds and blues, which is really in for the fall and winter. So um, I would pair this with really any color that you really desire. Any uh, lipstick would be great. Um, I'm just going to use uh, Smoky Look by NYX. There we go. Very nice. Okay, guys, so um, I hope you enjoyed this look, and I'll see you on another video.